Let's fun do this. One of the genesis of the story is cute little cuddly toys doing adult things in a map that's just big and vast. Even though it feels like it's got limits and borders, we really try to push it as far as we can. We wanted it to be really violent and sexual and full of swear words, and that was how the dream was born. Oh, F word. We are constantly writing around the fact that our characters are not as expressive as characters on just about any other TV show. You have a little peg person that doesn't have a lot of space, so you have to find a way to have them communicate with you with just this limited movement that they have. So if we have an audience applauding, we try to write around it because we can't actually show people's hands clapping. If somebody has to point to something, we have to make sure they have a prop in their hand. Most stop motion shows, you'll have some kind of like wire or metal armature inside a puppet. With this, it's like the body and the armature are the same thing because it's those like wooden joints fitted together. In the beginning, all the builders wanted to make them too good. So we had to go back and like sand them and making it look like a, a toy that's been in some kid's toy box for years. I gotta be honest, that was a disgusting. The thing that sets Crossing Swords apart from other shows is, I mean, the most obvious answer is the visual style. Like no other adult cartoon endeavors to tell complex stories with characters that don't have arms or legs and very limited facial expression capabilities. And other adult animated cartoons, it's usually they strive for realism where we go the exact opposite direction. And ours looks more like a video game or a child's show laid against adult humor, which is why I think it's really fun. Nutshot! Well, that was colorful.